That's right. We're here today, right now, on your YouTube. Please don't click away. We are The Buzz, the Buzz Gaming Talk Show, where we talk everything video game. And brought to you by us, The Hive. I'm Buffalo Prime. And I'm Jace. What we do is we buzz, buzz, and continue to buzz. And we're all brought to you by M4G TV. Lollipops, cupcakes, and cookies, and balls of sweet goodness that sack right into your mouth. M4G TV really knows how to, to excite their YouTubers. So make sure to apply to be a partner today. And audio copy in available in the description section below. So let's buzz in. We got so many things to talk about because it is almost holiday season. We got plenty of games that are coming out real soon. And Halo we got, 5, we got Fallout 4, we got Assassin's Creed, we got so much to talk about. Yeah, and we're going to dive right in. To so this. put on your headphones, because we're about to abuse your ears. So we're going to start off right talking about Assassin's Creed Syndicate. This just recently came out, get, getting a 9 out of 10 on GameSpot. What do they have to say about it? The sprawling open world is complemented with smooth transitions into storylines and pop-up side missions, cool shit happening all around, and it looks fucking beautiful. You know, in previous uh, Assassin's Creed games, you'd always have that kind of break, like, okay, I'm going up to the side quest, okay, walk into the side quest, whatever. In this game, it looks like... This shit is just popping up. You're like, oh, I need to move over here, something like that, you know. Boom! We're doing that, okay? We got some cool-ass gadgets, we got, you know, grappler hooks, we got some new uh, fucking cane swords. We're looking good. Cane swords. Okay? Despite the mixed reviews from other... uh, you know, I guess I would say reviewers, we get 4 out of 10, 7 out of 10s. The things that kind of bring this game down is the present day story is kind of not there. Uh, GameSpot says instead of fiddling around in the present day story, you're kind of just understanding what's going on. So that's why we've got some mixed reviews there. Also, the end boss, I guess, is terrible. So <laughs> That's that's kind of common for Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Their so, endings and it, just, it just leaves it like, I, I guess, lackluster or whatever you want to call it. Just, you wanted more. It's not there. Right. You know, Assassin's Creed. What is your thoughts on this, man? Well, and Assassin's Creed does come out with Syndicate, and they improve upon what they have been pretty good with, and that's graphical components. It looks good again. You have a lot of people that are, you know... Uh, sprawling amounts of cities in London and everything like that. The music complements it well. I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to I'm not going to get it. I'm done with Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed, I'm just so sick of it. Like, one wasn't good. Two was, eh. Two was okay. I loved one. One? No. Yeah, dude. Okay, you play one for like a couple hours, and then you're like, No, dude. One it hasn't had changed. Me in the, one had me in the zone, okay? But I will say, compared to two, two just blew my fucking mind. Okay. And then Brotherhood blew my fucking mind. And then it kind of got, eh. And then it was black like flag. black flag, and then we, you know, then we come to Unity and you know some Dude, like handhelds, out. and we're just like, okay, I'm what just the so fuck sick. is going on? I'm just so sick of it. I mean, there's no resemblance of a story anymore. They've been just tacking I guess onto there the is back a story if you play all the handhelds and you realize, okay, this is what's going on in three. That this have been is planned though. This is what's going on in four. It was. That's planned. Yes. Yeah, we're gonna have all these games. We're gonna have a couple mobile games. We're gonna have it a couple was, of well, games. I don't know if the, mo- okay, the mobile games. I don't think there was a plan with the main games, but the mobile games came out. I was like, hey, we're gonna. Gonna, you know, Bridge explain. The gap. Yeah, apparently, like, there's so much story behind three and four that lead into Unity that makes Unity more of a game. But it's just who want you know who's got time to play all the the, the handhelds? You know? Assassin's Creed. I guess just I gotta a go joke. get a DS. I'm I guess done. I gotta go get a PSP. You know, I'm I'm done saying? with it, man. But if we're just on consoles, we're not gonna understand what the fuck is going on. I'm done. It's so. just it's boring. It's, Assassin's Creed hasn't done anything new in like ten years. They made their first game and then they tweaked it. And I guess you could say that about a lot of different and types of video games. More gadgets, but that's so dumb. It. Maybe so dumb. some graphics here and there. I mean, it's gonna take a miracle for Assassin's Creed personally when me back as a. There's just person. so many like developers and people trying to make it, and it's like, okay, this is what our end goal is. We're just and gonna they're losing out. writers. We reported on that in a previous Buzz yep. episode. Why are they losing writers? Just, if they're doing a good so job. So much is going wrong with Assassin's Creed. We're done. Okay. Move on. So no doubt, all of you at home are on the edge of your fucking seats for Fallout Four. I'm super excited. It's coming out November 10th. It's coming I'm up. super excited. But let's take a look at the bit of news that have come out of Bethesda recently regarding Fallout 4. This is pretty new stuff, so you know, hold on to your you know hats if they're on your head or if they're on your butt. It doesn't matter. Hold on to them. Because here we go. Fallout 4 gameplay trailer reveals a rather brutal baseball bat as a melee weapon. To celebrate the World Series, they put this video out, and um, you mix that with the Big Leagues perk, double damage on you melee. Perk that shit up. And you just fucking crank just- people. Heads are flying off. It looks so good, too. Heads are exploding. It's so fluid. This shit is so cool. It's really good. iDigital Times is reporting that a website called Vault 111 will allow players to tink with their camera's special stats, allowing you to pick out starting perks that you're 
it's one one, bro. Uh, I guess that your character can have this unofficial character. Builder website is out now. So it's a website where you basically can now go in with some of the things we know about the game and start fiddling around with character creation and get the stats you want prior to the game. That's cool. That's super cool. Super cool. On all systems, Fallout 4 will have a pre-loaded feature on it, which basically means, if you don't know, is that when you have a pre-ordered copy of the game, a couple days before the game releases, it'll already start downloading for you. So when you get the copy of the game, you can press... Plus play, and you're good to go. And that's nothing really new. I mean, I yeah, guess PC we, has had it for a while. Consoles are still we're fairly new. We're seeing that on consoles. We're we seen, are. But uh, Fallout 4 is continuing it. Yeah. It's good news. Nothing. I mean, it's good news. It's cool. It is good news. Guess what? If you pre-ordered this game, you get some bonuses. Bonuses? If you, if you or pre-ordered this shit for the Xbox... What do you get, James? You're going to get Fallout 3 for, for free. free! But if you're on PS4, you're going to get a theme. <laughs> because backwards compatibility allows Xbox no. One to get it for free. Yep. Just terrible. It's basically like let's 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 break this down. It's basically like if you have two kids, same age, same height, same everything. You love your kids to death, right? You give one kid a soccer ball. You give him a soccer ball. You're like, go outside and you play with that soccer this. ball, right? Kay. And then you give your other kid a picture of a soccer ball. Like what? I don't know what you want from me. That's what you're gonna get. But he has soccer ball. <laughs> but you don't have legs, so you can't kick a soccer ball. That's basically PS4 without backwards combat. Completely different subject though. So according to recently achieved gold status, uh, basically symbolizes that Fallout 4 has been completed prior to its re- release date, freeing up all of its developers to work on bonus content. Which they don't know what the fuck it probably is yet. But it's good. But, but they're going to have some... They're, they're going to have it. They're going to have some DLC. It, it, has Bethesda really let you down before? No, I mean, story I'm just saying, I just don't like when people acknowledge, okay, we're going to have DLC, but we don't know what it is yet. But right. I mean, I'm sure it'll be great, but yeah, it's kind of... I, I think it's just expected for people to have DLC in games like that, so I don't know. Well, Rocket League only has DLC that's, like, custom skins. Yeah, but the, their fucking DLC is fucking free. Yeah, there are other DLCs. Yeah, there are right. other DLCs. So why don't that. we get free DLC at Fallout 4? Nah. I'm just kidding. I probably... God, that's... that's, fucking, that's we're going to move on. All right. Guys, it's time for a fuck yeah or fuck off segment where Buffalo Prime and I look at recent gaming news and plow the fuck out of it like a horny dog and a stuffed <laughs> animal. So, so hold on to your fucking seats. That's so descriptive. Yeah, I don't know. So Bungie has congratulated 343 Studios on their launch of Halo 5 fuck via it. Twitter. <laughs> Congratulations, 343i Studios on the launch of Halo 5. Can't wait to see where the Chief goes next. Cheers. Fuck yeah, fuck off. Fuck off. I just don't like Halo anymore. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I just don't like I fucking Halo, Halo anymore. I love it so much. I don't know. I was like, everyone's like, we're gonna go fucking get Halo. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> nah, okay. Uh, I say fuck yeah. It's positive PR. It's an example of what companies should do and not like, hey, we're not having split screen. You can go fuck off. Like, you know, they're not saying that. They're saying congratulations. 343 Studios is the one that put their shoe in their mouth and said, if it's possible, we would do it. So guess what? We care. use cells over 1.9 million in the past six months. Do not care. Guess what the reasoning is behind this? Apparently Animal Crossing home designer and Super Mario Maker are the big reasons behind <laughs> this. Those are your games that are driving your sales? Fuck I don't off. Know, man. Like, Fuck. I've seen some Nintendo fans like, Super Mario Maker? It was on the PC. You could have done that on the PC already. Yeah, I mean, uh, maybe they should have a PC and they're like, well, you can get them Super Mario. Oh my yeah. god, so and dumb. I can make my own levels. Do you think that Wii U can sustain that kind of sales no, dude, with just, games like that? Hey, hey, here's Animal Crossing. Here's Animal Crossing, except for nothing else in Animal Crossing, just the homemaker part of it. The stupidest the part of the game, let's be honest. Because I loved Animal Crossing. I loved Animal Crossing too. Home decorating, that's all you do, man. No, no, I, so well, I ain't want to decorate shit. To, to be fair, you Nintendo fans, your Super Smash Brothers series is phenomenal and you haven't missed yet. Every single Super Smash Brothers game's been great. It's been pretty good. And that's probably driving your sales. And those games do not drop in price. But I don't think it's your home designer and your Super Mario. <laughs> it's definitely not the reason you guys are still doing but bad. But I guess whatever. Doing good. Whatever. Okay, another Japanese name. Here we go. Sushi. Sehuhi. Sushi. Sekui. Oh, Sekui. Yoshida, or Yoshi. Sushi Yoshi. Yoshi. Sushi Yoshi. <laughs> Head of the PlayStation division of Sony has come out and said that the ability for PS4 users to change their PSN name is not only not happening. They don't know how to fucking do it. Prob- they're like, we don't, it probably isn't possible. They don't know how to do it. So, <laughs> we're aware of lots of people asking for this feature, but our engineers have been looking into it and they just don't know how to fuck to do it. <laughs> so, but as of today, we don't even know if we can ever even achieve that anyway. So, so fuck yeah, fuck, fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> 
I mean, it's cool. Like, I mean, you should stick with your name anyway. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I guess people are like, you know, fuck my name. You know, I guess I'm going to change it. <laughs> so they go around the court system and change their fucking name. Yeah, fuck my name. <laughs> I guess it could be like that in PS4. Uh, I say, I guess, fuck off. I don't, I don't really care though, because I, I'm Buffalo Prime on PS4. Yeah, and I'm Jason K7, so it's it, gonna stay the same. We if you're the, care. if you're the idiot that picked a name that you're not gonna like, I mean, what, do you, what do you want? You want the, you know, change your name. That's what you want, actually. That obviously is what you want. <laughs> That's what you fucking want. <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> so, Uncharted Four: Thieves End is, I guess, having multiplayer, which is cool and stuff, but it's not gonna have dedicated servers. They're willing to take the risk of lag and whatever else. We're going to stay, you know, take a step back and whatever. Fuck so, off. Why fuck do off. everything's fuck off today? And that? I guess they want to, like, have the peer-to-peer set up, you know, but that, host advantages. There's, or, host, there's hosting know. advantages to that, too. This, there's so many switches. risks to this. So dumb. I don't, just fuck off. So it's like they take the industry, which is leaning towards a dedicated server. Call of Duty, Battlefields, just, all these places have dedicated servers, and they're like... No, no, we're no. just gonna do the peer to peer setup, and we're gonna risk all the lag, the host problems. So I mean, if you guys are have, the... if you guys have a lot of distance between you, you and your friend, good luck. Yeah, so. I I tip my hat if I Dude, didn't have. There's just, just so much negativity. There's there's got to be something positive out of this. There is something positive. There Star is. Wars Battlefront. Yes, it's getting gameplay launch trailer. And it's already come out. It covers the game's different modes and famous characters that are coming to the Xbox One, PS4, characters. PSO, PC coming out November. 17th. This trailer is coming in an effort to build hype for its anticipated launch. After watching the trailer, Jace... so excited! It's obviously a fuck off for you. No, it's a fuck yeah. We got fuck Han Solo, we got Leia, we got Boba Fett, we got more characters. And this is gonna look fucking amazing! Dude, that's why my fuck yeah is there. I loved the It beta. looks so good. You know, I mean, of course, beta's gonna have problems, and everyone's like, oh my god, there's so many fucking problems. People, okay, if you... It's just a beta. Like, If you don't understand... I'm just gonna rant really quick. If you don't understand the point of a beta, don't play a beta. Wait right. till the game comes out. I remember when Destiny was in beta mode, and people were like, eh, the beta wasn't that you great. You should never review a beta, I think. You know, I see. I hate when people review it's a testing. beta. You're it's testing. You're helping them. Members. Yeah. Test it. I mean, they sent out servers, hey, surveys think, you know, saying, hey, what do you think about this game? What can we improve? And every single time you get done with the match or, you know, would ask you and be like, okay, what do you think about this? What do you think about this? What can we change? And you're stress testing, too. You're stress testing servers. You're stress testing. You should be lucky you got to play the beta. Exactly. Be thankful. I don't know. You know Stop how many games fucking I... reviewing betas. Right. I'm getting sick of that shit. Anyway, with that in mind, I watched the start. Like, I didn't get the Battlefront beta, but I watched people play it. It looked great. It was amazing. It looked great. It was free for us. Why didn't you get it? Shut up. Name. Coming up next, we're bringing you our YouTube spotlight. More fucking Halo 5. <laughs> And a secret, not a secret, announcement from Outlast. So that's going to be fucking cool. So make sure to stay tuned, but we got to go to commercial break, yep, obviously. commercial breaks. So sit your ass down. Sit down. You are now watching The Buzz, brought to you by Time. I just wasted some of yours. Halo 5 is here. Fuck no. It is, though. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no, it ain't. No, it's here. And the gaming world has swarmed onto its sweet, gooey, high-definition center. So are you thinking about buying the game? Fuck no. <laughs> You're so negative. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, just, I can't do Halo. I understand. Uh, well, just... it's not that far-fetched of an idea, and let me tell you why. It First of all... <laughs> Let me tell you why. First of all, new player movement and open level designs adds a completely new design and new feel to multiplayer and single player. It's pretty cool. There's a lot of movement and a and lot of new just, areas. Yeah, you can do sprinting and and the end of your sprint, you can melee at the same time. Something that probably should have been in the game a long time ago. That's kind of cool. But it's super cool. Right. The story mode oh, adds eight... Play- <laughs> I heard that. I'm sorry. Adds eight playable characters across two separate teams, one that's chasing the other across the galaxy. That's story mode. That's super unique. And I think that's important for Halo. Maybe. Uh, brand new combat-free environments are now incorporated into the storyline, where basically you go into this small contained world where you can talk to characters, learn about their stories, and have no combat around you. So it's just combat-free. It's kind of like uh, you know any RPG, really. Kind of like a town, but yeah. not really a town, just a combat-free area. Halo 5 brings a very successful and highly addicting four-player cooperative mode which is important for co-op fans out there. Not everybody's into PvP. Some people like PvE. And speaking of which, a new Warzone game mode has also come to Halo 5 that adds elements of MOBA, uh, the MOBA genre, with player versus player and player versus environment. That's kind of cool. I think that's cool. I like MOBAs. 
But it, it does have a shares problem. Oh, uh, here comes Jace with the name. Really. It has a lot of problems. Okay. You know, I give you shit, but like I'm super not interested okay. in Halo either. Do you remember the fucking trailer where it's like, oh, Master Chief, we gotta go after him. He makes him seem like he's a fucking villain. Well, apparently that is never really addressed in the game, and that's just a problem. So the Wait, story... Before, I'm sorry for cutting you off. 343 Studio takes Master Chief, one of the most beloved video game characters in the and modern like, gaming he's a era. a fucking villain, we gotta go after him. That's so risky and a little dumb. I think so. It's a little dumb. It's like if Mass Effect... Excuse me. If Mass Effect came in and was like, Commander Shepard's a bad guy. You'd be pissed. I'd be so pissed. Yeah. Why, okay, let's just whip our dicks out onto the three games that have come out and just pee on the main character. Why would you do that? Yeah, he, he's going through all this, you know, that shit. You, one, two, three, four. Well... I mean, yeah, his work. life just gets progressively shittier. I understand. It's, just, it's harder for him. I get it. There's a lot of emotional turmoil. Right. And he just goes through all this shit, and it's like, now he's a fucking bad guy. No, fuck that. So, so the story also seems rushed, often cuts into a new area before the last one was even fully explained. Yeah. Just kind of goes to the whole more. story thing with the, maybe he's a villain, maybe he's not. I don't fucking know. It's like, oh yeah, Master Chief might be a villain. Let's go over here. Like, wait a second, he's a villain? And never explained. No. So, also... I guess the combat-free, story-driven areas seem forced and break up with its described as a smooth-flowing story. In order to keep the sprint-like story going, players are forced to push through these combat fast And I can understand areas. that. If you, if you watched us play Dynasty Warriors in our very first Let's Play in the very beginning We tried to push through it, don't yeah, we? Yeah, we, we, like, we get into like those areas where you're just talking to people and you're like, I don't care. I'm going to keep Let's going. Let's just go and just keep wrecking shit. But I mean, I don't think in a Halo... Halo's kind of known for its story. Yeah, and, it, and it, they're so, throwing in something that's not been there before, and it didn't work out. No, I wouldn't go with it. So, without a full team... Okay. Without a full team of four, co-op players are forced to try and adapt to a suicidal mindset that the AI has, often pushing to areas without rhyme or reason. I mean, you remember Evolve? And the AI in Evolve? I didn't... I don't... Did, did, what, what is Evolve? Fuck Evolve, okay? <laughs> that game was bad. It was so bad. I it's, I played it for about a week and then sold the shit out of that. So, so basically, you run into a typical AI issue if you don't have a team of four where your AIs are ridiculously stupid. Yeah. They're so super dumb. Just dumb. Despite all that, the multiplayer has been getting near perfect reviews. But honestly, do we want a game for a multiplayer? Fuck no, we want a game with story. I mean, I like That's Black not Ops. rushed. You know, we just... <sighs> Give us a, like an overall game, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, not focus it's in one area versus the other. We need it's a story, so, we need a multiplayer. It's so rare to see that though. Like Call of Duty hasn't done that in a long time, and I I know people out there are like, but the Call of Duty another is great. another good thing is like it like uh, it's not great. Titanfall that was just mainly multiplayer it had a story, but it was. And how about how short Battlefield's story mode was? Battlefield. Last Battlefield. But Literally Battlefield Battle multiplayer was the main focus. Yeah. I mean, all around games like this, it's just, it's not there. This is why Battlefront di is doing, I'm going to go back to Battlefront, okay? So <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Battlefront's like, fuck the story, we're going to focus one main area and make this area the best it possibly can be. And that's what you need to do, unless you're going to do both. Try to make them both kind of equal, okay? You need to focus, you can't just do one or the other, just don't have it. Now what if 343 Studios copied like Destiny and had storylines that were driven into more of an MMO aspect? Where you That'd had be fine. Crucible and stuff like that? That'd be cool. I mean, I don't think they can do that because Bungie's going to be like, uh, bro, copy and paste. Mm, copy and paste, bro. Uh, Alright guys. Yeah, so. We're going to jump right into a YouTube spotlight. What are we YouTube spotlighting today? We're spotlighting a YouTube group, a duo, like us, in Video Land. Now, if you guys have been they're following... They're fucking hilarious. They're super funny. But if you've been following our channel, you've been seeing a couple of episodes called The Stampede, where I interview Let's Players, I talk about gaming concepts with them, and I have Skype v. Skype interviews with them. Uh, I did Video Land, and those guys are hilarious. Probably some of the funniest hilarious. people on YouTube right now. And they're I, hilarious. They're so funny. They're doing a Wind Waker remake, HD, remastered, Nintendo, you know, game, and it's so funny. They take selfie. It's literally the funniest thing I've ever seen. And they're still doing it. So you guys should check them out in the description section below. Video Land, we love you. You guys are great. And check out the Stampede episode where I interview them. We talk about having sex with video game characters. Jason, I'm going to ask you right now. If you could have sex with a video game character, who would it be? I have no idea. I never about thought it. about it like that. No? I have no idea. No? No. Miranda from Mass Effect? No. That's who I pick. No, I have no idea. Really? Laura no Croft. Idea. she pretty hot? I mean, she's into it. She's a video game character. I understand that. you got to remove that aspect. It's just... Uh, no, it's just it's, weird. You gotta cross those lines, man. It's just weird. I don't know. Lawcroft? Probably. Yeah. Let's just go with that. Let's just push you into Lawcroft. All right. So Lara anyway, to this. Video Land, you guys are awesome. You're a YouTube spotlight. Independent developer Red Barrels, Red Barrels, announced Outlast 2. Woo! 
that's coming out soon. They released it with a rather creepy and intense teaser trailer. This trailer features an upside-down burning cross with uh, a narrator reciting Bible passages Out from the Revelations. Revelations. Which is like the, you know, that's the creepiest part of the Bible, probably. It's misunderstood, a lot of things I'll, going on. Yeah, Outlast creepy. 2 is currently slated to launch in the fall of 2016 and aims to take players on a twisted new journey into the depths of the human mind and its dark secrets. What do you think of that? That's going to be amazing. I cannot wait. Outlast was so good. Yeah. Scary, got psychological scares, got some jump scares, makes you feel paranoid. Dude, that story was good. It was good from front to back. That ending. I'm not going to ruin it. Don't. But that ending. Ooh. And if, if if we're in store for the same stuff in Outlast 2, I mean, it's going to be a good game. I'm super excited. Hopefully they do it for free again for PS Plus users. we got to get something, especially if we're just going to get a fucking theme. For <laughs> Reoccurring theme. Get it? Reoccurring yeah. theme. Uh, so, so gonna... before we before we before we cut out here, Call we just audible. we just yes we just got some good news from our cameraman partially silent. You can check out his shit in our description section. It's not shit. It's amazing. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's not shit. Yes, don't <laughs> throw that shit. Okay, after, after. Wow, middle fingers everywhere. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh, okay. censored him. Obviously. But he informed us about a new update from Psyotix, bringing us different types of balls... In Rocket League. In Rocket League. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. It's no, Rocket League. Rocket League. Different types of balls. I've seen a square one. I've seen a circular one. I've seen a beach Not, ball No thing. two balls are the same. No, man. no, no. We got some modifiers, including gravity, other shit like that. That's going to be super cool. I watched this trailer. It looked amazing. We got some weather effects. You know, it's about to get Christmas and snowy. It's about to get cr- Christmas on this field. Yeah. My so about to be some snowy shit going on. Yeah. And in December, we're going to see a hot, no, I wish, <laughs> hockey aspect to Rocket League. And strippers. And Like, it's strippers. The, the stadium itself, if you guys don't know, this isn't real. The stadium on the outside of the stadium is just stripper poles, and people's just like, ooh, Rocket League. I'm going to go again and say that's not real, but anyway, I wish. <laughs> I hope not. So that's all the time we have today. If you liked what you see, make sure to comment and subscribe to our channel below. Any suggestions for future episodes are welcomed. You can reach out by us commenting on this video, treating us Hive Guys, and emailing us at HiveGuys at gmail.com. You sound like me. Good job. So for all of you Hive Guys Studios... Oh. We're yeah. Hive Guys Studios. We're, we're Hive Guys None studios. of you guys are. That's I'm, us. I'm Hive Guys Studios. But hey, thanks for stopping in. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks for checking out our video. If you'd like to see more about what the Hive is all about... Make sure to subscribe to us and check out some of our other videos. We obviously have a lot of Buzz episodes where we talk about the latest video games. The Stampede is where I, Buffalo Prime, sit down with a Let's Player on YouTube and discuss your gaming topics. And of course, both Jace and myself have various Let's Play series that you guys may personally enjoy. With some skits, commercials, and a lot of other awesome stuff, The Hive really is your one-stop shop for all things gaming. So make sure to subscribe today.